package of these, please? And uh, I'll take these. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Uh, Joe, I need a price check and some condoms. How about taking up sculpting? Really, do? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said you'd like to help him mold his clay or buff his marble anytime. <laughs> Rose, you're such a kidder. <laughs> what is sex? You don't have to decide tonight. You should take all the time you need. The point is... If you turn a nice buck on this place today, you can buy a bigger and better place tomorrow. But I'm not sure I want to go right out and buy a new house. Maybe I want to take some time to travel first. I have relatives scattered all over this country. It's moved, they could have filleted themselves. <laughs> I hate you. What in hell are you doing? It is 2 a.m. Well, I couldn't sleep, so I decided to get up and make a batch of spare hoof and crispies. <laughs> She's not out there. She isn't in her bedroom. There's no one in the kitchen out, but I think she was there. The coffee's still warm. Oh, Ma, that's because we were in there drinking it less than an hour ago. Excuse me, Miss Marple. I'm new at this. <laughs> Where have you been? Blanche, why didn't you call us? You had us well. Seat pockets for the safety information in the unlikely event of a mishap during our flight. M mishap? What, what does she mean? What does she mean by mishap? She means like bad movies or, or cold food or running out of ice. <laughs> running out of gas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you just calm down. Here, drink some champagne. No, I don't like champagne. when you're wearing an evening gown. <laughs> And the shocker is, I lost out on the intelligence quiz. <laughs> Kel, surprise. Don't I know it? They asked me to name the seven dwarfs, and I did. Glad, Angela, you really don't have to go. Thank you, Dorothy. I'd like to stay, but I hate your mother. <laughs> Goodbye, ladies, and thank you for everything. She's still here. <laughs> oh, Blanche, you look gorgeous. Oh. Shut up, Rose. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I dare. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> the minister's here. Oh, I need perfume. Oh, perfume, perfume. Come on, let's... Tomorrow, we'll handle a situation. Tell Gresham we can get together next week. No, he'll have to come here. I can't go to the coast. No, we're going to have to try to keep that whole week clear for my honeymoon. Sometime around the 17th. Well, if you can close it, all right, do so. Call me. I'm on the plane. Never really given Salvador a chance. You know, I don't understand what you see in this man. It's not something I can explain. Mm. Everything you say about him is true. Lord knows he's not terribly bright. He's not terribly good-looking and not much of a provider. But I love him anyway. I don't know why. It's the little... We've known each other a long time. I mean, things like this just, just, just happen. There is nothing wrong with two people showing each other how they feel. We're just friends. We're scum. <laughs> Herring balls? <laughs> you always stick up for him. The fact is, he has always made the wrong choices when it came to women. Oh, and you've always made the right choices when it came to relationships? Need I remind the three of you of the yutz parade that's been through this house? This is our slumber chamber, and, uh, oh, here's my, uh, card. How may I be of service to you? Uh, well, Mr. Pfeiffer... That's, uh, we... Puff Pfeiffer. The, the P is not silent. <laughs> Um, well, uh, Mr. Pfeiffer. <laughs> that is Sonny Bono. He's a major television star. Boy, you have been gone a long time. <laughs> Blanche, I, I know you're shocked and that this has caused you incredible pain. Yeah, you might say that. Now, I didn't do it to be cruel. It may seem cowardly, but I... 
Harry Dorothy. Lighten up. Morning, Oh, the pup's still here. Yeah, one more day, unless Ma decides to take him bar hopping. How come you dressed so early? Oh, I told uh, Mr. Allen that I'd come in. You. God said you'd say that. Ma. He said you'd say that too. Ma, stop this. Three for three. <laughs> Ma, this is ridiculous. You don't want to be a nun. Yes, I do, Dorothy. God reminded me today that I've always had a dream, a very private dream, one I never talked about. When I was growing up, I wanted to join the con. Not just because I do your laundry. <laughs> Michael, we were just having breakfast. Would you join us? Well, that's the best offer I've had all morning. <laughs> hey, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you back your kid up a little more. Oh, Mama, it's just that I, I hate to see Michael making all the wrong choices. You know what I mean? How could I know? Michael around the world with him? <laughs> Sophia, did Vincenzo really say all that? Of course not. He's a carpenter. I'm a philosopher. He said he wants everyone out of the garage until the work is completed. But why? Because to an old guy with cataracts, you two look like Swedish stewardesses. <laughs> Promise? Why don't you ask me to sign it in blood? What happened to trust? You don't want me to drive a car? Fine. But don't ask me to promise. Don't humiliate me. Leave me with what little dignity I have left. Ma, and I'm sorry, honey. Of course I trust you. I want to enjoy being with my favorite niece. No. <laughs> okay, how about this one? What was the name of the informant who Crockett and Tubbs accidentally set up <laughs> in the Cool Running episode? There's no way. That was Noogie, better known on the street as the Noog Man. <laughs> Sophia, we're playing hearts. <laughs> I know, I felt like drinking some. <laughs> if I'm gonna get through a boring Saturday night with you two, I'll need a buzz. <laughs> Why are you so cranky? I had plans with Mildred tonight. She waited until the last minute to call and cancel it. The hang-ups in two days. Miss Know-it-all, for your information, it takes three days. <laughs> So what did it do for you? I've learned a hell of a lot about what makes Stanley run. Why I'm so reluctant to make commitments, why I can't keep friends, why all my business ventures seem to fail. I finally have an answer. Oh, I bought those big illustrated storybooks all the time. And I bet your kids loved them. No, they had their own books. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, you've been in there for 20 minutes. Now, what are you doing? Twice. But it's not like I wouldn't have anyway. Oh, good, the newspaper's here. Give me the classifier. Oh, Ma, Ma, you're not going to answer ads in the personals again, are you? We got a lot of complaints last time. Hey, he asked for a single white f suggested we do a show about women who live together. And they jumped on it. Well, Rose, that's a great idea. We already have two women lined up. We just have to find two more. Oh, my God, Rose, open your eyes. This is exactly the kind of exposure I've been looking for. Please, enough of your exposure. We've already lost three gardeners. <laughs> Good night, Grammy. To, to leave and you didn't take it. <laughs> and now I have to kill you. I mean, I'm probably doing you a favor. I mean, what kind of life are you having? What, you hang around sewers, you eat garbage? That's not living, honey. When it comes to art, you cannot hold a candle to me. So why don't you give me back my clothes and banquet before you go and mess everything up? Now listen to me. Mr. Allen gave me that banquet, and I intend to take charge of it, regardless of your childish insecurities. Childish? Who are you calling childish? Who are you calling a backstabber? Girls, I think this little fella better stick... Ball game with Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> Why, you devil, are you suggesting another time? <laughs> Just name it, I'll be there. Well, then. Tomorrow, 2.30, the Empire Lounge. Well, sure, why not? I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Do it just once for us. 
<laughs> There's a dollar I'll never see. What a terrible night that was. I remember we were trying to make a train connection to get back to Miami. Come on, girls, we only have ten minutes to catch our next train. I don't think I can take another three hours on a train. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. But then again, I've always... See, baby isn't really all that much trouble. <laughs> Heck, this is an old nightgown, and, uh, well, he is kind of cute. <laughs> and he's not the first pig to watch you take a shower, and that's my last pig joke, I swear. <laughs> All right, he can stay. Oh, well, of course he can, hon. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> and the sheriff died. Honey's <laughs> <laughs> fine. We had a wonderful time. Everything's terrific. I was only joking. <laughs> over the last five years. Or a pair of shoes. <laughs> Do I meet him with my accountant tomorrow? He said to bring everything. You better include a cake with a file in it. Where are your receipts, Blanche? I always thought you only needed a receipt if the dress you bought didn't fit. Blanche! Blanche, what happened? Blanche! Blanche! She's in there! <laughs> Really, Columbo? Yes. Have some sympathy. Hey, who met this De Kimmel character? You try having sympathy for a guy like that. De Kimmel? You mean Jasper De Kimmel? That's right, you got it. Pablo personality. <laughs> oh, girls, listen to me. When a famous artist like Jasper De Kimmel dies, the value of his work doubles sometimes. Three hours? Reading, writing, and rooster inseminating? <laughs> No, we just teach the first two R's. Fine. But you're going to be sending people out into the world who don't know. You can get a nasty rooster bite if you don't warm your hands up first. Girl. Oh, being this close to you is the biggest thrill of my life. <laughs> if you were any closer, there wouldn't be room for my car keys. Uh, Mr. Hope. Could we impose upon you to entertain for a few minutes? <laughs> Will I entertain? I didn't put this makeup on to go bowling. <laughs> hey, it's hotter in here than it is outside. Oh, no. Of all days for the air conditioner to break down, we better call the repairman. Oh, his number's in the kitchen. So is the ice cream. We can have some while we're waiting. <laughs> completely lost. Could you run that by me again? <laughs> After the lecture, Rose. Just like last week. Now, are there any newcomers here tonight? Oh, right over here. Rose, no. Oh, please, stand up and introduce yourself. Wait for the beep, then leave a message. <laughs> beep. Hi, this is Rose. <laughs> Shut up and get in here. Oh, I see you're with two double-crossing... All creatures must learn to coexist. Back where I come from, they do. That's why the brown bear and the field mouse can share their lives and live in harmony. Of course, they can't mate or the mice would explode. <laughs> scout camp and you said we were going to have more fun than any two people ever had they want me out yesterday <laughs> dorothy i don't get it i know god wants my life to be meaningful that's not going to happen unless i'm here ah your life is meaningful you do nothing but help other it doesn't like her <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Incidentally, you look fat. Well, I say the time for subtlety has passed. If you want this man, go after it. Pleasure. Wow, what a hunk. I know. Eat your hearts out. Blanche, did it ever occur to you that possibly Rose or I might be interested in Jake? Yes. 
and you still used every cheap ploy to nab him before we had a chance? Yeah. Then what? <laughs> I don't believe it. It, it, it. it can't be. Hey, don't panic. Pick up one for Rosie. You can go as the pointer sister. <laughs> I thought you were going to wear something out of your closet. Well, I was, but as it turned out, nothing fit me. Well, what did you expect? A wonderful thing that could happen to a man. <laughs> and it's all because of you. For the first time in my life, I'm batting 310. And I like myself. <laughs> oh, Blanche, you really know how to mold a man. <laughs> feeling of sisterhood should be allowed to join. That's very commendable. As long as she could castrate a sheep. <laughs> there was a service organization in Sicily with similar membership requirements. <laughs> Except that instead of a sheep, it usually involved a mayor from a neighboring... On rice? <laughs> right, maybe she's a little lax in the housework. She is more than a little lax. She's habitually late, she's broken quite a number of glasses, and she threw out People magazine before I had a chance to read it. But, Dorothy, look at all the wonderful things that have happened since Marguerite started working here. Later, what a day. Pussycat, I'm going out with my friends. Can you give me some money? What happened to the money I gave you last night? Let's see. Ten bucks went for cover charge, ten bucks went for a round of drinks, and the other ten went into the G-string of a very cute male dancer named Mr. Big. Lime jello with pears or fresh lemon meringue pie? Pie. We don't have any. We never did. Now we're even. <laughs> What? I thought you knew. Well, I didn't know. First you guys give me that transfusion and now you tell me this. Honey, I guess there's really not much you can do. Well, sure there is. There's plenty I can do. Like, sit around the house for the next 72 hours. Scared to death he's going to tell me I have something that's going to kill me. I can't take you. Why not? I just can't. Is there someone else? Oh, there's somebody else. Oh, a girlfriend. You got a wife? I'm just to find all the other things you are, all the other ways you please people. There's a lot more to you than you know. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I see my mother's face looking back at me. Not all the time, just every now and then when... when when the light's too bright, or, or it's too early in the morning, or late at night, or, or I look... I see you. Not so fast. <laughs> there are some things I have to say. There are a lot of things that I have to say. Words can't express what I have to say. What I went through, what you put me through. I can't do this in a restaurant. Good. But I will. I think I had that once. But how the heck did you ever catch it in your foot? <laughs> It's a very small tumor, Ma. I've had it for about 20 years. A tumor? It sounds serious. No, no, no. It's a very simple surgical procedure. As a matter of fact, I'd only be in the... Dorothy, all that stuff I said about preparing for a burial, forget it. Oh, Ma, you finally came to your senses. Yes. <laughs> Rose, you're just incredible on Miami Vice trivia. I've never met anyone so smart. And for a policeman, you've led a very sheltered life. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We're going home. I just put popcorn in the microwave. Uh, listen, Ed, I I'm sorry. You're a nice guy, but I have to go. Ed, I am so ashamed. I'm sure you're just blowing this out of proportion. But Dorothy I raised is a good Catholic girl. And what's worse, in the process... I have hurt a friend. Hey, a true friend will forgive you anything and love you no matter what. Just as I, your mother, loves you no matter what. Now tell me, Dorothy. Rose, I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah, my hand was throbbing. <laughs> I brought you a Vanscap caca. It's a traditional St. Olaf friendship cake. 
Rose, I don't want any gifts from you. I mean, I really don't want to have anything to do with you. Which room's available? Number 506. A room is 50 and the young lady's 100. And make it quick. I'm not running a hotel here. Shouldn't any longer. I can't marry you. I'm another priest. I never was. Uncle Angelo, what are you talking about? I gotta sit down. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Picture it. <laughs> Sicily. Blanche, please, it's getting late. Dorothy's right. You really have had a chance to say goodbye. But I can't. I can't say goodbye. Oh, Blanche. Oh, Dorothy, I, I know, but there's something I haven't told you about this room. Something I haven't said because I was afraid you'd think I was weird. My Grammy. I have packed my last suitcase. <laughs> you ready, Dorothy? Ready, Freddy. <laughs> Dorothy, they know. Oh. Uh, I'll be out in just a minute. Okay. Oh, she's been so depressed since she got back from that funeral. I mean, she lost one of her oldest friends, and even though she made up with Mac, she knows that she'll probably never see him again. Well, you go and get her. We will try to cheer her up. You don't want that poor little thing getting sick over this. No. Ma! Oh, my God! Dorothy! What is it? The body of a Mr. Mel Gibson, the personality of a Mr. Johnny Carson, and the financial resources of Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> I have a feeling the three of us are going to be together for a long time. <laughs> and do you, Max, take Sophia to be a lawfully wedded wife? I do. Then if no Elvis in this room has any objection to this union... Do you really want to abandon her? you doing? That was a big joke. How would you like to go to college? Now, where's my patient? Don't you mean victim? Ma. Now, look, Sophia, I know you didn't like it at Shady Pines. Nobody did after their families dumped them there. Life is Roberta. Sure, rub my nose in it. <laughs> Blanche, you're up early. Well, I'm making a list of things to do with our little pals. I just hope I'm good at it. Well, with all that enthusiasm, I'm sure... ...was a little embarrassing. I'll say you were 48 years old. <laughs> well, it's all behind me now. I'll tell you, I really feel very comfortable on planes. Good, because you'll probably have to take a dinky little plane to the Bahamas. They, they flutter, they, they shimmy, they wobble. <laughs> You got a lot of guts in you. You're only saying that because you're my friend, Rose. Sophia, tell me the truth. Am I a bad mother? You did what you had to do. Well, then why do I feel so terrible? Because it is not easy being a mother. If it were easy, fathers would do it. <laughs> why can't kids understand that we're just trying to do what's best for someone? Oh, no, no, I want to sleep. No, Rose, listen, Dorothy's so upset with me, and I don't blame her after all those things I said. Mm. You know, I just don't see how I'll ever face her again. Mm. Rose, listen. Oh, listen. Am I a terrible person? I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> Sophia, how did you do? Great. Easily a personal best. Oh, tell us what happened. It was electric. The start of fighter's pistol into the air, and like a shot, I left half my competition in the dust. Oh, you were that fast? No, it was the over 80 category. Most of them dropped from fright. <laughs> Glass of milk before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I just did some shopping to cheer us up about Rose, but it didn't work. Let me tell you two a story. No. no. 
A short story. No. An anecdote. I won't take no for an answer. Picture this. Zito. When was this? His prom? Halloween. <laughs> Listen, Angela, what do you say that you and Ma and I have dinner tonight and, you know, clear the air a little bit? <sighs> Angela, please. Hey, I'm willing. But to tell the truth, I don't know what I did. Chicken, and he was a great singer, too. Gordon could cluck the scores of all the big Broadway musicals. I've heard a lot of poultry do show tunes, but nobody could hold a candle to him. Oh, of course, no chicken likes to be that near an open flame. But you, you've kept me on hold all this time to tell me that it is sold out? No, no, I will not have a nice day. Oh, darn, I was really counting on that concert. Now what do we do? Don't worry, I'll make some calls. I got connections. Ma, Ma, I'll handle it. Uh... Amen. <laughs> nice work, Dorothy. Wasn't me. Sweet Jesus, am I in trouble? <laughs> Morning, Dorothy. I didn't want to hear it from Bryant Gumble, and I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> Problem? I still don't have a date for Jenny's wedding. My own goddaughter, and I'm going to show up alone. How humiliating. Come on, I don't rub it in. <laughs> Blanche, please, that's a stereotype. Call it whatever you want. I'm just grateful it's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't it great the way we're all getting along? And Mike a little Lorraine didn't have And it was heavenly. But before I tell you about my weekend, I want to hear all about yours. You're looking at it. All I did was sit. Blanche was all over me like a cheap slut. <laughs> I think you mean soup. Not necessarily. <laughs> but you know, this proves something. Left to herself, Blanche... Anything you're going to regret. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. Would you two please sit down? A terrible mistake has been made here, and I'm the one who made it. See, I thought you all would go out once and, and eat a boring dinner and tell each other a couple of boring stories. Here. Taking a shower, huh? I suppose this is your loofah sponge. What are you talking about? You toyed with my emotions. You toyed with my affection. And worst of all, you toyed with my sister. That's not true, Sophia. Angela's just my roommate. You're the only woman in my life. There can be no one else but you. Yeah, the three of us are planning a vacation together. Without me? Well, we were hoping that maybe you'd stay here and watch the house. Why don't you take the house? I'll stay here and watch the hole in the ground. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Ma. Brooke Shields takes her mother everywhere. <laughs> she just found out about it. Think this is gonna work? I don't know. We should just go along with whatever she wants to do. The important thing is to keep Rose's mind occupied. Hey, give me some lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> and the others were good, too. My friends and I all liked it. You see, Dorothy, I knew my ending wouldn't hurt the play. Oh, no, the show is a big success. <laughs> In fact, the library's been busier than ever. Now, the kids are really getting excited about reading. Where's Blanche? She should see this review. That one, no doubt about it. <laughs> That gentleman just peed in the ocean. How many is that today? Three, four? I'm not sure. I lost track. Whatever. My point is there's a. Hey, Blanche, I didn't see you. Uh, listen. Ernie, could you freshen my drink, please? Oh, sure, Blanche. Look. And put uh, some extra ice cubes in it this time. Good morning. Ah, how was your date last night? Well, oh, it's too soon to tell. I'll let you know when I send him home. 
Is this for Rose's birthday? Oh, now look, don't you start with me. Every Christmas, every birthday, any time we have to give a gift to the same person. <laughs> Your sign's drooping again, Dorothy. Now what's the matter? It's Ken. I don't know which end is up. He called me this morning. He wants me to travel with the circus. I'm afraid we're going to have to call it quits. Oh, honey, I'd think twice before I cut that guy off. At your age, how many chances at the brass ring do you have left? <laughs> when did you start, Sophia? Oh, late. Not till I came to this country. In my village, hairy legs were a sign of beauty. How do you account for that? Dumb men, hairy women. <laughs> Actually, uh, that's not such a big surprise. You know, a lot of those... You <laughs> oh, Frank, come on in. Ma, Frank Nan. Frank, my mother. Hello, Frank. Ma, Frank is uh, directing the production of Henny Penny. Well, not anymore, I'm not. One of the kids in the play came down with the measles. And because the audience is going to be children, too, the entire cast has been quarantined. He's leaving there. I hunted three hours for his owner. I hate dogs, Rose. Oh, Dorothy, come on. Nobody hates dogs. Oh, please, just for the night, I promise. Please, Annie Dorothy. <laughs> I won't be any trouble, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And it was heavenly. But before I tell you about my weekend, I want to hear all about yours. You're looking at it. All I did was sit. Blanche was all over me like a cheap slut. <laughs> I think you mean soup. Not necessarily. <laughs> but you know, this proves something. Left to herself, Blanche... Being a gentleman, I realize this time it's only Stan, but next time it could be somebody appealing or charming or at least reasonably good-looking. No offense, Stan. I'm <laughs> taken. Dorothy, could we talk for a minute? Of course, for a minute. Come on. You bring your wife with you, or did you make her stay home and clean out her toy box? <laughs> Look, Dorothy, you don't have to believe all of this, but stop trying to take it away from me. I'm going to bed. Good night, Spumoni face. What did you call me? Spumoni face. Wow, I mean, I, I haven't heard that since I was seven years old. This place in Chicago, it'll be a lot easier for me to get used to new surroundings than it would be for her. You really think you moving to Chicago is going to solve Lily's problems? I want to help her. Oh, look, I don't think you're helping her by offering to be a nursemaid. I mean, Lily is not an invalid. You don't understand. All our lives, Lily was the one who always took care of me. Holy crank <laughs> and threw his limp body in the river. <laughs> That's a Sicily you don't see on postcards. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I got it. My Uncle Carlo always used to say, honesty is the best policy. Of course, Uncle Carlo died a penniless drunk. <laughs> I don't understand. The point is, if you're honest every second of it... I can't. My taxi's waiting. I just wanted to stop by and say thank you. For what? For convincing me to go back home. I figured I'd give it another try. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what was it I said? <laughs> Nothing. I just decided I didn't want to be a zone corrupt. And this affects me how? <laughs> well, don't you understand? If we take that money, there won't be any left for the police cars and the fire trucks and the children's cheese museum. <laughs> You have a museum where children go to look at cheese. And of the air and the water. I mean, the problems are endless. Dorothy, you can't talk like that to the president. Oh, watch me. Well, sure, there are problems, but can't we just pray they'll go away by themselves? You haven't. <laughs> Dorothy, if you make a scene, this whole thing is going to blow up in our faces. Why do you say that? Because something always does. To go. The bowling tournament is tomorrow. Now, we need the practice. Oh, we've practiced enough. Every morning before work, every evening after work, all I ever wanted was to look cute in my bowling outfit. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? Rose dumped you. That's right, she did. I hate being dumped. Oh, oh, I know. Come on, Ma, too easy. That's what I was going to say. 
my talent is molding men. And I'm not doing this just for myself. I'm doing it for baseball, for the fans. The community expects something of me. Oh, oh, oh I know. Catch <laughs> you didn't see the robbers. I'm not the robbers of my mama's jewels. Okay, okay. We're getting the basic system. Whatever. But not from you, from your competitor. What? Because what you were trying to do was terrify us into spending more money than we have. Now get out of here before the victim of violent crime in this house is you. Was of marriage, he also dumped you for a 23-year-old stewardess with firm thighs and perky breasts. Yes. <laughs> you got yourself a ring, muchacho. <laughs> Well, Dorothy, I'm ready to go to work. How do I look? Oh, um, Ma, uh, you look adorable. Adorable? I want to look aggressive, powerful, like a corporate killer. Lose the hat. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Now you look like the activities director at a retirement home. At least six times. The last episode was the highest rated ever. <laughs> ever. That must be a good feeling. Well, it's kind of an acknowledgement. I hate to interrupt you, but I have some bad news. Mm -hmm. It's all over. That's right, you're busted, but... Your temperature seems to be normal. But tell me, Sophia, are you taking your medication as directed? I take my medication every day, if I remember. You have to remember to take it every day. Now, I'll see that she does, Dr. Clayton. Elliot. Well, ladies, it's been a great pleasure meeting you. Dorothy. It's been especially... Then only happens one night. <laughs> now, I have to get me somebody to dump Uncle Lucas on. If I could only find me an idiot. <laughs> Rose, sweetheart, what are you doing tonight? Rose. <laughs> you know, when you pray, the kitchen almost becomes a chapel. He made me think he was attracted to me, Dorothy. He deserves the electric chair. That'd shock the smirk right off his smug, limey face. Ma, Shady Pines happens to be a beautiful retirement village. Yeah, right, and Morley Safer just happened to wander in there by mistake. <laughs> oh. oh, Dorothy, we have great news. You're never gonna guess who we got to star in this year's production at the community theater. Oh, Blanche, please, you say that every a clear picture on that. <laughs> However, I do know that Jackie O will tie the knot again. Oh, with... thank you very much, Miss Dixon. Enjoy the wedding. <laughs> Rose, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused, Jonathan. You see, I... I... Do you mind that we... Again. Ma, go to bed. Maybe I'll have some shredded wheat now. That way we'll get to the life sooner. <laughs> I'm really worried about her. Oh, Sophia's always like that when you wake her up in the middle of the night. I'm not Ma Rose. Ever since she took that death trip, she's been a different person. Well, that's no excuse. Leo, he's the one who prescribed arch supports for Mussolini. <laughs> Must have really helped his lower back when they hung him by his heels. Forget him. I'm talking about Bruno Bonafiglio. I take one look at him, and I have a hunch he's trouble. But nobody believes me. So what happened? Don't want to be a husband Why you just let me know. Bye. Wow, in 20 minutes we'll be in St. Gustav. Then we'll hop on a train for Zumbro Falls and we'll grab the shuttle. <laughs> By my estimation, we should be in St. Olaf in a couple of days. Days? <laughs> but now you're here in front of me and you can't run away. And I finally get to have what you tried to cheat me out of. I finally get to say goodbye, Stanley. Look, Dorothy, we... I said goodbye, Stanley. <laughs> oh, 
never saw her. We thought you were making a little joke to raise our spirits. <laughs> no, I want to get my head frozen. And I want you to promise me you'll help me with this. All right. If it'll make you happy, I will see that your head gets to the cryogenics people. And it's going to... Like when Clay was in high school, all he ever wanted to do was go see gladiator movies. It's the same kind of thing. Almost exactly. Rose, honey, congratulations. <laughs> I hear you've been nominated again for the Volunteer of the Year Award. Yup. And chinos and ties and professors with just a touch of gray at the temple. <laughs> Wise, learned man. Who look up your skirt if you're sitting in the first row. <laughs> Meetings with them so they can explain Plato. And they lean over your books with you. Well, well what? After my boom comes your boom. And then yours until we're all booming. How complicated is that herring thing? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. The doctor said you are supposed to be in bed. Oh, I'm fine. I just came from the hospital. They told me Sophia was discharged. Is she here? No, I haven't taken her out of the trunk of the car yet. <laughs> oh, there you are, Sophia. Are you okay? Hey, I just spent two days... Operate at a profit. Our patients, Social Security and Medicare pay most of our bills. The government subsidies pick up the slack so we can meet minimum standards. Well, then maybe minimum standards aren't enough. Right again. And this year, the government's made cutbacks. We're operating in the red and doing the best we can. Are you telling me... In a minute. I gotta finish this article. I love these military guys. First, they fly this top-secret bomber jet way off course. Next, they start denying it ever happened. Like nobody ever saw it flying over downtown Miami. Rose. Pussycat, can you lend me $20? <laughs> Ma, this is the second time this week that you've come to me for money. Now, what happened to your allowance? Uh, something's come up. A medical emergency. Can I have the money? What medical Ma, what's wrong? I think I'm pregnant. I want Leon off the team. Now, I don't care if he is 6 foot 11 and weighs 300 pounds. The boy can't spell his own name unless he copies it off his jersey. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to tell him. You tell him. You're the coach. Dean Tucker. Come in. Come in. Look, we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> so happens I'm having dinner with Dr. Lee Kagan, a medical corporation. <laughs> Our Dr. Kagan. The Dr. Lee Kagan I love more than life itself. Dr. Kagan? Hubba, hubba, zing, zing, baby, he's got everything. One April, Niels decided to breed Brunhilde. That's the pig, not the daughter. And he chose April because that's when pigs are at their most beautiful and desirable. Unfortunately, so was Fricka. So while Brunhilde and the pig were doing their thing, Fricka and the local... Oh, softly. Morning, everyone. Oh, that be? Rose Nyland? Yes. Wow. I'm Olga Nordstrom. From sure, you can have some lemon chicken and smoked ham. It's all prepared. Oh, let's just start with appetizers. That's fine. Yeah, how about smoked rice? Oh, good. Oh, you'll never guess what I found. Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't tell Mom. This is the second man she's gone away with since she arrived. Yesterday. <laughs> well, she's 20 years old. She's a young lady. I, I don't have any right to button to her life. Well, I think you should talk to her mother. Oh, I can't do that. Why not? Because Lucy trusts me. Ever since she was a little girl, she and I have... <laughs> you. Good morning. Well, kid, what do you want? I changed my mind. I was wrong to ask for all those gifts. Dorothy, you see, I knew she'd come to her senses. I decided cash is better. <laughs> that way I can buy exactly what I want. I'll get my purse. No. Bla 
Well, that sure convinced me. Let's get some shut eye. It's almost fight time. Oh, Ma. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm not asking the kid to win. All he has to do is step in the ring and we make our money. Sophia, if he steps in the ring, he might hurt his hands. But unless it turns out that he's so bad that he gets knocked out before he can even throw down a purchase was still an escrow. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. No one's gonna see this dress. What do you mean? According to Sicilian custom, I can't get married unless I have you know who's blessing. Who? Dick Clark. <laughs> Dorothy, you idiot. Dorothy, your mother. Make me laugh. All right, here we go. It seems there was this doctor. It seems there was. What is this existentialist humor? <laughs> Was there a doctor or wasn't there? Yes. Yes, there was this doctor. He's sitting in the park. What time of year is it? What difference does it make? You have to set the scene. Who is telling this joke? At the moment. Oh, no thanks. I'm doing what we all should be doing. Dieting for the bachelorette auction next Saturday. Not all of us. I told you, Rose. Count me out. Now, even if it is for charity, I am not going to stand up there and allow myself to be sold to the highest bidder like some Holstein cow at a, at a livestock auction. <laughs> well, now that's a cranberry juice. Definitely Ocean Terrace. Definitely Feinstein, except she pronounces it Feinstein. Harriet Feinstein, you want me to say hello for you? Would you mind? We're very close. <laughs> no problem. Hey, Alvin, I have a... ...to California. She's afraid her husband might not have as much free time to spend with her anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> For Louis the Ice Pick. <laughs> Ma, you said Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, right. I slept with Charles de Gaulle. I could have been the first lady of France, but I married your father instead. A man who cleaned his toenails with a shrimp fork. <laughs> you have a very beautiful country, and I have enjoyed my stay here. When it comes down to it, your lives aren't really that different than ours. Except for your toilet paper. <laughs> no wonder you people always look so grouchy. Hey, a fast-talking pepperoni salesman gallops into town. Of course, both girls are impressed. He dates one one night, the other the next night. Pretty soon, he drives a wedge between them. Before you know it, the pizza suffers, the business suffers, the friendship suffers. Because of my life, I won't do it. I can't, I can't, I won't. I won't. I won't. Pull yourself together, for God's sake, you're in a psychiatrist's office. Blanche Deborah. Oh, my God. You go on, honey. We'll be right here. Kessler had. <laughs> Is the man asleep during it? I think so, Rose. And what about the parts they put on? Do they test them first? <laughs> Wait a minute. You two read my diary, didn't you? That's despicable. I will tell you what is despicable, Missy. Some of the things you wrote in that diary. This is my book for my eyes. You have no right to invade my privacy. Rose, you said some terrible things. I thought we were fr- Rose, what are you doing up? I can't sleep. I keep having nightmares about the banquet. Oh, what kind of nightmares? I'm General terms, and I make up wild, crazy names for my patients, so there's no way she could know who I was talking yeah, about. But nevertheless... Oh, I'm... my God, I'm in the way. I can go in the kitchen. Why don't I go in the kitchen? You know, I used to worry that I would miss something, but that was before Richie. He's making me so unneurotic. Don't talk about me. It'll kill me. And kicked across the street. Oh, great. Here's the other four dollars. <laughs> There is a busload of Greek sailors out front. <laughs> they won't know how many drachma there are in eight dollars. <laughs> Girl, guess what I... 
better be careful what you say. I happen to be an ex-wife. <laughs> Not like his, I'm sure. No one's like her. She's superwoman. She was the perfect wife. Cooked, cleaned, had two kids, got an education, has never looked better, and now she has a career. Oh, that wasn't a marriage. Many times. <laughs> you did. You didn't? No. Oh, it was nice. I mean, being near Charlie was nice. But it was five years before I knew what made your eyes go back in your head. <laughs> what you're doing. I don't need a lecture. Well, Meg, you can't be happy with the way your life is going. I don't want to talk about it. Well, if you ever do want to talk about it, you know, neighbor to neighbor, I'm here. Oh, she's singing. Well, she just frozen solid. Oh, no. Melissa. Oh, gosh. Melissa. That's your music, Melissa. Honey. Do you remember the words? Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Come on, sweetheart, say. Brush off the clouds and chill. Oh, oh, Mom, we'll talk when I get back. Thank you for everything. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. And I love you, too, Dennis. Oh. 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 Hey, goodbye, oh. Dorothy. Oh, listen, don't take any guff from her. Yeah. <laughs> but take good oh. care of her. Because if you don't, I'll kill you, you know. I'm sorry. I'm just so worried about Dorothy. I keep remembering how bad it was the last time she let this gambling thing take over her life. There was nothing I could do. That's when she hit bottom. What happened? Because of her gambling debts, she had to borrow money from loan... <laughs> Remember, the way to make a deal is we, we state our price, stick to our guns, and undo another button on our blouses. Thank you. Okay, let's just fill out these forms. Your name? Brother Martin. Occupation? I'm a monk. Oh, good. I almost wrote down Trekkie. <laughs> what brings you to the hospital, Brother Martin? Well, I, I don't enjoy talking about it, but, uh... Handling, not a kidney. <laughs> she is trying so hard to be brave. She's very convincing. Well, you have a wonderful night, Stan. We just wanted to stop by and wish you luck in case we don't see you again. <laughs> Before you leave. For the hospital. Not another world. Bruce Willis's hair. <laughs> Blanche, I want to talk to you. I'm in no mood to fight. Neither am I. That's what I want to talk about. We've been at each other's throats for weeks. We've also been running ourselves ragged trying to outdo each other. It has to stop. I'm not giving Fidel up, Sophia. <laughs> Ma, why that noise? What noise? The noise you're making with your nose and throat. I got a post-nasal drip, but what'd you like me to do? Drown and fly? <laughs> Maybe it sounds strange, but without Charlie, I, I thought that part of my life was over. I never gave it a second thought. Until now? Then I think you should go on the cruise. Honey, if the situation is right, you'll know it. But I'm not sure I... I believe the nerve of that guy. What were you doing in Ladies Petite? <laughs> Come in. Oh, Dorothy, I'm glad you're home. Promotion at the museum. Oh, no, did not tell you that position was filled. Oh, you're kidding. No, the museum director gave it to Sally Folkerson. The money I spent on tuition, she spent on a tummy tuck and a butt lift. <laughs> Blanche, I hope you're not discouraged. Oh, not one bit. My time will come. One day her butt will... Oh, I love oh, princess. Mm. Mm. Oh, you look absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Oh, no, don't thank me. Thank your mother. There aren't too many women around who could swallow their pride after what went down between us. 
You're awesome, babe. Publish a novel. <laughs> I think it's all right with Blanche if you stay here. You can have my room. I'll sleep with Ma. Oh, good. At least now when I wake up in the middle of the night screaming, I'll have a reason. <laughs> No, I can't go on. No, no, now you have to, Marty. Just a little while longer and I'll have that thousand dollars. And you will have a wonderful story to tell your poker club. No, I'm sorry, Blanche. I quit. Don't you dare. No, no, I quit. Don't you dare be no. successful. Ma, oh, uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like couple number 29 is out of the competition. And that little lady on the... Strudel was our little pet name for sex. <laughs> wow, you were mad. You bet. But I decided one mistake shouldn't erase the memories of all the good times or how much we loved each other. Don't throw George's memory away. Hold the Corvette. You didn't. Yeah, it was tough. Had some great times with that car, but the times I had with you were a hell of a lot more important. Stanley, I'm so sorry. Me too. <laughs> I guess I finally became what I always feared most, another middle-aged bald guy who drives a Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one. I wasn't worried. My dentist slipped. <laughs> Ma, Uncle Angelo's plane lands at 4 o'clock. You have plenty of time to make a fresh batch before then. Good, because these aren't fit for human consumption. Top of the morning, sunshines. Hey, Rose, try one of these. <laughs> oh. Don't you just love the style, the technique, the use of color? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd give anything to own a painting like that. How about that painting for a new roof? You're kidding. Of course she's kidding. That painting means everything to me. I could never part with it. <laughs> Sophia, are you crazy? Crazy about the kibble. Ma'am. Cheat on Miles? Well, maybe cheat isn't quite the right word. Just think of it as one night out with my rich friends from Texas. <laughs> well, why isn't that cheating? Because you're not going to get caught. <laughs> Come on, Rose, just think about it. A delicious dinner at an elegant restaurant at night. <laughs> Dorothy, would you please check my list and see if I forgot to invite anybody to my Moonlight Madness party? Sure. The women. <laughs> Pardon me? The women. You invited 12 men and no women. Now, Dorothy, I know what you're thinking, but Rose and Sophia are coming. You'll have somebody to talk to. Is it my stroke or did they do this already? <laughs>
But I was hoping you'd have a hard time taking advantage of somebody who cares about you as much as I do. I need help, Rose. Oh, God, I hate the lying. Dorothy, I lied to you, too. You could never have used that bank card. <laughs> That signals the end of the trivia lightning round. The blue team leads with 400 points, while the green team trails with a big, fat zero. We'll be right back to take a spin on the big money wheel right after this commercial message. Blanche, where are you going? I have a date. I thought the doctor said you were to take it easy. He did, but I'm just going stir crazy. I have to get out of this house. Blanche, I think you should stick to the doctor's orders. I think Dorothy's right. Oh, nonsense. Who knows my body better than I do? Any man in Miami not attached to a woman or a respirator. Hello. Yeah, but we could... <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hey, how'd you like to have... Oh, come on, Ma. That was three, four months ago. <laughs> It's not the flu. Flu doesn't last that long. You ought to go back to Dr. Raymond. I did, Blanche. He said I'm fine. Get a second opinion. She did. She went to Dr. Schlesinger. Well, then, you are fine. Now, you want to hear my idea? <laughs> she is not fine, Blanche. Look at her. I didn't say she looks fine. His wife left him. And you believed him? That is the oldest line in the book. I hear that at least twice a week. And it works every time. <laughs> I said it was old. I didn't say it doesn't work. No, believe me, Chrissy left him. He was devastated. Next thing I knew, I was holding him. He was crying. We were in bed. Hi, Rose. Hello. Michael tells us you're a singer. That's right. Ooh. Oh, I bet you know all the great oldies. Rose. <laughs> Lorraine, why don't I just show you where to put your things? Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Mm -hmm. Rose, will you excuse us? Sure, where are you going? Nowhere, get out! Mama, do you remember that Mother's Day that I almost ruined when I ran off to get married? No. <laughs> sure you do, honey. Don't you know I was a senior in high school and I was madly in love with Deck Bovinglow? We've been dating. Ferguson has canceled and we don't have an MC for the show. Yeah, well, I heard that you've been sleeping with a Japanese guy who blows the leaves out of your driveway. <laughs> it so happens Dorothy is doing a terrific job. Matter of fact, she's in the middle of negotiations. How do I look? Oh, is today your audit? Yes. He should be here any minute. Blanche, how are you going to explain that outfit? The zipper's in the back.
संग Sangue pilou, tu já sabes que é 